Welcome back. It's time for Monday Morning Quarterback. This is our weekly chat with ABC 36 Sports Director Jeff Pecoro. Jeffrey, good morning, buddy. Hey, Lee. How are you this morning? I'm pretty good. I mean, I think we're all pretty good this weekend watching that performance down in Arkansas as the Cats not only won that game, but played at a level we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, it's really nice to see how this team is evolving as this season is coming to a close. You know, you go to Arkansas and win without a point guard against right. that defense. You know, put so much pressure on the perimeter. But that was a key win for them. Without a point guard and Toppin doing most of the ball handling, yeah. that creates so many matchup issues for a team because they're so now they're so big. You know, it's just interesting, that dynamic. I'm not saying we don't need Case and Wallace or Severe Wheeler, but, boy, is that a nice respite when you don't have those guys available. you got a big like that who can bring the ball down. Well, it almost reminds you a little bit of Magic. Exactly. You know, when he played, I mean, you know, six foot nine guy yep. that's able to bring the ball up court. And it, as you said, he sees over the defense. Mm -hmm. He can throw over the top. It just gives him so many more opportunities now, especially now getting to get Wallace back. Yeah, I mean, it was fun to watch. The, a lot more cohesive. We've been seeing that. I, I think the the way it looks to me now that Vanderbilt loss at home was just a anomaly. Hopefully, it was just emotions and senior night, and all that kind of thing. But since then, most of the games, the five out of the six that they've won, they've looked better and better, and it's timed out perfect. No, I think you're exactly right. Uh, I, I think this team is really coming together. They look like they're having fun out there. They're, you can see them smiling when they're playing. Remember when they went through that spell midway through the season? Yeah, it, was, it just wasn't fun, I don't think, for the players. Uh, I, I think they've gotten over that hump. Uh, you know, they're getting healthy again. Obviously, you're not, you don't have to leave it, but C.J. Frederick is back in the rotation again. You're probably going to get Wallace back. You know, getting those extra two days was huge for them, not playing until Friday of this week now. So let's look forward to this week. It's SEC tournament in Nashville. Uh, they, they've got that uh, bye that they don't have to play till Friday, so that makes it yep. much easier to come out of that thing with a pretty good record. You're looking at it right here, Jeff, and Kentucky probably plays uh, Vanderbilt because they got Georgia and LSU in that first bracket on a late game Friday night. And after that, I mean, I don't know if you can find a better pathway. I'm not taking anything away from Texas A&M, but Kentucky has beat them if they end up matching up with them in that semifinal before they ever have to face an Alabama or a Tennessee. Yeah, and it's going to be really interesting. You know, it, it, it's really hard if you play Tennessee to beat the team three times in a year. It, it's just hard. I would rather not see that. I'd rather see the play Alabama, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, I, I still think that's a fluid situation in Alabama. We really don't know what's going to happen yet with Davis, their big star, too. So that could be huge. But I think the ramifications are big if they can get to the championship game. Because I think if they do, that might give them a chance to get to Columbus. Yeah. Well, so that's what you think would happen then? I would hope so, because I think that's the, they would love to do it. To be able to play in Columbus, Ohio, and then Louisville, that would be enormous yeah, for the fans. Yeah, that would be a, a good bracket, yeah, absolutely, for travel for those guys. So the SEC yeah. tournament coming up, I guess, Jeff, you and the crew will be down there covering that for us, right? Yeah, we're, we'll be heading down Wednesday, and, uh, uh, you know, it obviously opens up on Wednesday games on Wednesday night. We'll be live on Thursday all day from morning shows all the way through to the 11 o'clock show. Uh, Sarah Cardona, myself, Paxton. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have the whole crew down there and be, be coming to you live and, and, you know, hopefully getting you up to the minute of what's going on with this basketball team. And is the uh, championship game going to be here on ABC 36 or ESPN? Where's that? Do we know? Uh, I, I'm not sure yet. It's ESPN Sunday afternoon. I thought it was ESPN. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm being told it's yeah. ESPN. All right, yeah, Jeff. That's going to end. It'll be ending right before they actually announce where the teams will be going, too. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the, that's when the, all the bracketology is done with, yep. and we just see where we are. All right. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate it. Bye, man. Thanks. All right.